arrow conversion to a Gleaner Hugger corn head. This is a 12 row 30 inch. And through there, first step includes removing the deck plates and chain guides from up front. And we also on this one have cut the shafts off to get them out of the way. Can't just unbolt them because they drive off the backside. In addition to that, leave the chains wrapped around the upper sprockets because on a gleaner it's critical to keep the timing of the lugs in place. When we do the assembly, first step includes adding in the deck plates on the left side and right side of each row unit. Again, chains in place. Those are bolted into place with a countersunk screw up in front, plus a bolt in the back and existing holes. After you have the deck plates in place, next step will be to install the lower disc on the right side if you're setting in the combine, or left side as you're standing in front. And we have a thick shim and then a thick and a thin shim on the upper disc to raise it up 30 thousandths and provide our slight scissors action between the upper and lower disc. Those will get bolted in place with the chain guides. Chain guides uh, go through there, bolt the two go through and a nut on the bottom and then a 3 8 bolt in the back and then there'll be additional bolt up front to hold the chain guides in place. Those discs would then turn with a little bit of scissors action into there as you rotate one and friction enough between the two discs rotates the other one. Provides a nice scissors action right in that point. And additional part of the arrow conversion, alternate rotary row crop option includes then installing the front idlers, reinstalling the idler assemblies that you had before. We've cut the springs off to about six inches, shorten the pipe spacers, and then a new bolt that included in the kit will fit in there and provide adjustment to your front idler and rear idler. At that point, you pretty much have your arrow conversion kit done for a gleaner. See the front tensioner, you still have spring tension capability and movement in the chain tensioners. And um, pretty much completes the installation. You put her on the combine, run it first initially slow, and then uh, up to speed, check temperature on the disc for any excessive temperature. Readjust accordingly.